So this gentleman apparently has acute pancreatitis and uh, biliary obstruction. They don't know why. Um, so what I find the problem with these acute pancreatitis patients is that they send them over here and they're like in ileus and their stomach is full of fluid and stuff and it's like uh, kind of uh, can be a little bit dangerous sometimes. Anyway, I took the slim scope for this. It'll be a little bit less uh, invasive. So I'm expecting to see his stomach full of fluid now. So just working my way in, a little bit of obstruction. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. Surprise. Okay, so there's his liver, and you can see that his intrahepatics are uh, what I would call basically a malignant, um, mal malignant intrahepatic uh, dilation. So this is very suspicious. Okay, I don't see any focal liver lesions. The next thing I want to see is his pancreatic duct, so I'm going to torque. Following the vein, it's going to come out kind of here. It's kind of hazy. The other problem in acute pancreatitis is it's very hard. It's, it's not as easy as it sounds. The pancreas is very inflammatory. It's hard to see the bile duct and stuff. This is the, the vein here, believe it or not. And I'm torquing it. See his PD. He's got a bit of an obstructed-looking PD, which is not good either. That's a sign of possibly a malignancy. Okay, but the rest of the pancreas around it looks quite inflammatory. I don't think you can call chronic pan in this setting. It's too... Those could be just acute changes. So I'm not going to spend a whole time, a lot of time trying to see his bodic down here. I'm just going to go straight into the bulb. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay. And, uh, okay, as I say, I've sort of started going straight into D2 instead of doing the, uh, the, the, bulbs, the bulb station, if I can. So I'm just going to try and go. He's got some food there in D2 there. There's his gallbladder. Whoa. Okay, he's got a lot of food in his duodenum here. So if I can't get into D2, then I will obviously do the bulb station to begin with. So I'm just trying to get back in the pylorus. And so, and so why do you like to start with D2 first? Because it's just I'm finding the, the bulb station is just kind of a waste of time. It's, you know, it's, it's a comp to me, the most important is the stomach and D2. And then the bulb is sort of a complementary station now, if you ask me. It's not obligatory. In the interest of making EUS even faster. Uh, so see, I'm not really getting in there, so I'm going to kind of stay in the apex then. I'm trying, he's really got a big gallbladder there with a huge stone in it. Good heavens, what is going on here? This is very... Okay, so where's the apex is kind of here because I'm tr having trouble getting like this probe to go in the right direction. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I'm kind of getting down here, but I'm really stuck. Like, uh, I'm not getting, a, getting into the position I want to get into. The slim scope may be a bit too floppy for this. And, he, and his duodenal mucosa looks very uh, unhealthy. Okay, so I'm going to try and come back here. Okay, hold on. What is going on here? Into the pylorus again. There we go. I'm going to just try and stay in the apex now. See, he's, he's, he's got ascites, a lot of ascites, and his duodenal wall looks uh, kind of thickened. And I'm really struggling here to get this probe to go in the right direction. Okay, now it's sliding. Okay, this is better. I'm getting somewhere. Oh, huge nose. This huge nose. This is not looking good here. This is looking like some kind of malignant process. I'm still trying to see some pancreas and some bile duct here. Those huge nodes. Very, very suspicious nodes right here. And again, this wall here looks sort of like some type of malignant infiltration or even primary. And I think I met the papilla. Here's the PD. This is the bile duct coming out of the papilla. Okay, so I'm, a, I'm actually in D2. And so this whole duty of the wall is very abnormal. But interestingly, his bile duct is not that dilated here. So why, where is the obstruction? So unless it's higher up, because his intrahepatics did look very dilated. And so we're, we're going to biopsy these nodes for sure. Uh, Looks like if the, 
almost like the CBD is all infiltrated. And yeah, yeah. Perhaps well, it could be more dilated he, near the hilum. Yeah, he's got a stricture here, which could be just inflammatory. And I, I'm uh, wondering, and you there, now you see it's getting down. Yeah. So I think it's obstructed by nodes or something. Like or, here's some nodes right here. Or could it be, you know, I guess, some sort of infiltrative process along the whole biliary tree? Yeah, kind of no, like I see there's something here. It's like, yeah, I think this is all just malignant nodes obstructing his, his proximal CBD. Wow. So does he really have pancreatitis or what's going on here? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's get back down to those nodes. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take the 25 Procore. I, basically, I have to get these nodes from anywhere, though. I, I, I could look from the stomach because they were hyler nodes. And I'll see if I can find them there. Yeah, here's some very suspicious nodes right here. These are celiac nodes. Where am I? Okay, there's the liver. There's his pancreas. I'm surprised I don't see any focal liver lesions. Where's his, there's his aorta. There's his ce uh, celiac is here. Yeah, these are celiac nodes. Okay, so these are very suspicious as well. And the scope will be straight here, so it'll be even easier. There's the needle. Coming out, so you want to hold this, the, the, the needle, the, with the handle with two fingers up here, and you want to put the needle out about one centimeter till you can see the tip. Then you go through the wall first. I, I go through the wall, so I'm up against the node now. Then I go into the node, I'm into the node. Okay, back and forth. And then, and, and I don't do a whole lot, just a, you know, a few times. And then I want to come out of the node, go somewhere else, stay behind the wall though, go somewhere else come out, go somewhere else. I'm sorry, you can't see the needle because it's a lot of respiratory movement, but I know I'm in it. Okay, come out, go somewhere else. Okay, and I'll do one more time. There we go. One cytologist is coming. Oh, he is, okay, good. Okay, so we'll put this on the slides then. So I'm gonna do another one now for the cell block. So there's the tip of the needle right there. I'm already through the wall a bit, actually. He's going to put this on. Okay, I'm up against, in, up against the node. It's really moving a lot. Okay, I'm in the node right now. There you can... I'm sorry, I'm not getting great, but it's right there in the node. Open the suction, back and forth. Okay, and I'm going to... Oh, this is. Can I ask you to just... Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Just keep the scope from coming out. Thank you very much. Okay, just keep the needle. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to... So, ah, man. Okay, coming back. Back and forth. I'm going to come out a little bit of, from the node and go back, go back in. I'm going to pull back a little bit here. Let me pull back. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come out. Go somewhere else with the elevator, see? There we go. I come out. I go somewhere else with the elevator. There we go. Okay, so this should be giving us quite a lot of material. There we go. So we'll put this in the cell block. Okay. Okay, so, th so that's, that's positive. I'm assuming it's epithelial or something? Yeah, it's uh, like I don't know, probably. So I'm gonna, just going to pull out here. So, so um, he's got a biliary stricture. Uh, first of all, it looks like it's some, some type of really metastatic malignancy, carcinomatosis, nodes everywhere. An epithelial, I suspect it might be a duodenal uh, or something lower down. And he's also got lymph nodes. He's got biliary obstruction, but I think it's from lymph nodes at the hilum that are compressing his, his uh, hilar bodic and he's got intrahepatic dilation.